math, number 58, divide by 6. Let's look at our rule. Dividing by 6 means you split the number into 6 equal groups, or you put 6 in each group. You find out how many times 6 can fit into that number. Okay, so, like in our last videos, I've got dots, I've got a number line, and I've got groups. And we're going to go through each one to see how we can divide by 6. There's 18 dots here, and we need to put them into 6 groups, okay, or into groups of 6. So, let's circle them with 6 in each group, okay? There's 6, there's another 6, and there's another 6. How many groups did I make? 3. 18 divided by 6 is 3. 3 times 6 equals 18. That's the inverse, see? Multiplication is the opposite of division. Let's try this one. 6 goes into 24 how many times? Well, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups, and we're going to count to 24 taking turns with each group. You can't put them all in one group and then put them all in another group. You can't do that. you got to go this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then back to this one and take turns, okay? We're going to go to 24, all right? So we got six groups. One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I stop at 24 because that's the number. I have six groups. See? How many dots are in each group? How many little lines? There's four. So that means six goes into 24 four times. The reason I put it above the 4 here and not above the 2 is if I had put it above the 2, it would have looked like we're saying 6 goes into 2 how many times? And we're not doing that. We're going into 24. So we put it above the 1's place. See? that's The 4 by itself isn't in 1's place, so we have to put it above the 1's place. See? Now, to finish this long division problem, we say 6 times 4 is 24. We do our subtraction, and we've got 0. See? Let's try this one. 12 divided by 6. How many 6's fit into a 12? Do you know what 2 times 6 equals? 2 times 6 equals 12. So that means 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 6 plus 6 is 12. 2. 1, 2. Let's try this one. 30 divided by 6. How many 6's can we fit into a 30? All right, so here's 30 on the board. This is skip counting by 6's, okay? Let's see how many times we skip count to get to 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 30 divided by 6 equals 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. See that? That's the inverse. Let's try 6 goes into 42. Here's the 42. We're going to skip count by 6's until we get to the 42. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 goes into 42 7 times. And again, we put it over the 1's column. Do our multiplication. 6 times 7 is 42. Do our subtraction and get our 0 and put it there and we're finished. 54 divided by 6. Here's our 54. Let's skip count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. 54 divided by 6 is 9. What about 6 divided by 6? If you had 6 dots and you wanted to break them up into 6 groups, how many dots are in each group? 1. That's the identity property. Just like the identity property in multiplication. 6 goes into 36 how many times? Well, here's 36 on our number line that's counting by sixes. Let's see how many to get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six goes into 36 six times. See? Six times six is 36. Six goes into 48. Here's the 48. Let's skip count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 6 times 8 is 48. Do our subtraction and get 0. 
6 times 8 is 48. How about 0 divided by 6? That would be like this. How many times can 0 go into 6? Silly. None. What if I said you have no candy and I want you to split it between 6 people? How many pieces would each person get? None. Because you had no candy in the first place. It doesn't matter how many times you split it up. Nobody's going to get any candy, right? So, that's dividing by 6. Remember how we did it. You can split it up like this in groups of 6. You can circle 6 dots at a time, or you can count by 6's on a number line. Either way, you want to know how many times 6 can fit into that number. Memorize your times table. I know I sound like a broken record with that, but it's really important. Keep working hard. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time. Bye.